is this just like another kind of chapter in the in the weird like Diaz lore? The the week starts, it's Hamza's the opponent. The week ends, and he's submitting Tony Ferguson in front of a sellout crowd. I mean, just another kind of chapter in that in that crazy book that those two brothers have written. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, yeah, yes. <laughs> Dana, hey, can, right you, can you expand on that, Dana, please? <laughs> What's that? Can you expand on that? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's just. Uh, this is a crazy business, man. It's a crazy business that we're in. And it's uh, why everybody's always asking me about, uh, you know, what are you going to do to this guy? And what are you going to do to that guy? And what are you going to do? You know, you guys don't know 90% of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. It's just, it's the business that we're in. It's, it's, it's a crazy business. It's, and, it's, and, and it's a tough business. It's not as easy as it looks. It's why all these guys that say they want to get into the fight business. Um, Careful what you wish for. Not as easy as it looks. Dana, question on the business there. Uh, is there a risk that Conor against Nate 3 might happen outside of the UFC now that Nate is out of contract? I have no idea. I have no idea. Is that, that's not something that keeps you awake at night, no? Not much keeps me awake at night anymore. <laughs> they have two of the biggest pay-per-views in UFC history. And it's... Yeah. Should that keep me awake? <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't. Not much keeps me awake anymore. We, we roll with... We roll with it, man. I've been doing this for a very long time. And, uh, you know, we roll, we roll with the punches. Pun intended. Thank you.